Hello and welcome to section 12, Deploying App Volumes in a Citrix Zen Desktop Environment. In this section, we will discuss the steps required to deploy app volumes in a Citrix Zen Desktop Environment. So what are we going to cover in this section? In this section, we're going to add app volumes to our Citrix Zen Desktop Environment to deliver app stacks to virtual desktops based on Zen Desktop virtual desktop machines. We're going to start by building the parent desktop operating system image. This will include the App Volumes agent as well as the Citrix VDA or Virtual Delivery agent. Next, we will configure the Citrix delivery specific components and create a machine catalog and then a delivery group. Then we will assign an app stack to an end user before finally logging in as that same user and testing that they can launch the applications on their Zen Desktop virtual desktop machine. So let's move on to the first video of this section and look at how we build the desktop operating system. We're going to complete the tasks required for building the desktop operating system. We're not actually going to follow the install of the OS as that's out of scope for this course. So for this video, we'll assume that you have already built an operating system image that contains both the Citrix VDA and the App Volumes agent and is now ready to deliver to our end users. Before we move on to the first video, we're just going to take a few moments to recap on what the infrastructure looked like for a Zen desktop environment. The Citrix Zen Desktop process for logging on to desktops remains exactly the same as it would in any other Citrix Zen Desktop deployment, but by having the App Volumes agent installed onto the base image of the virtual desktop machines that are delivered by Zen Desktop, when a user that has been signed an app stack or writable volume logs into that virtual desktop machine, then those volumes will be automatically attached and mounted to the Zen Desktop virtual desktop machine. In the example lab environment, we're using VMware vSphere as the underlying infrastructure to host the Citrix Zen Desktop virtual desktop machines and also the infrastructure components, such as the delivery controller, studio, storefront and license server. And therefore, we're using VMware-based virtual machine format or VMDK files for our virtual disk files. However, you can use the VHD format of virtual disk files without volumes and we will cover this in section 13 of this course. Having now described the architecture of how App Volumes fits into a Citrix Zen desktop environment, the next thing we need to have is a virtual desktop machine image built containing all the components required for it to run, such as the Citrix VDA. This OS build process is exactly the same as you would follow for building any other Zen desktop based virtual desktop machine. However, you will now need to include the App Volumes agent, shown in the diagram in orange, as part of the image build.